Hello, hello. I think we got audio. I think we have everything sort of running, working. Hopefully. I do know that I have some issues with the Adobe doors. So, you know, we'll see if those work now or not. Um, doo -doo -doo. Everything is running. Everything is up. Hello, everyone. And welcome to another Friday stream here at Strange Loop Games. I'm working here as lead game designer. And today we are going to get involved a little bit into some of the things that we're working on towards 10.3 now that we have 10.2 out of the way um and, and you know sounds like it's hurdles but it's yeah hang on give me a i think it's just me being a bit quiet uh there we go can you hear me better now hoping so <clears throat> now, so, uh, 10.3. Now that we got 10.2 out, um, we have a lot of exciting things that we talked about a little bit before. Yes, it's a cat in the background. Um, there, there are plurals. Um, hopefully they'll play nice. They tend to be rather active just around the time for the streams so they can really participate as well um but yeah um 10.3 coming up um we've talked a bit about maintenance in the last stream so if you haven't watched that hop in on youtube it should be out there um and we're gonna talk about the next kind of big big impact field for uh, the general player experience and an area where we've we we kind of skirted around, but we've always kind of eyed it and really wanted to redo the general initial experience coming into eco. So it's you know it's going to be less impactful um, in terms of the new block set for older players that are used to the game that are quick in the start. They they kind of speed past that initial threshold, um, but it's more in the general focus towards players coming into the game that are new to the game entirely. Um, they might be new to the genre, they might be new to just eco um, and, and its peculiarities. But we wanted to have a more smoother transition in from you start out in the world, you, you pop out, you, you create your avatar and you kind of get going, you start collecting resources. And we've always felt that the initial step from starting out to now you have a house you can build a store and you can start interacting with people and you can start doing stuff has always been kind of a big step where we wanted it to be more of a smoother experience um and the um the main intent with this block set edition is to kind of shuffle things around in that early sense um, just connecting to the server right now, so bear with me here. Um, but yeah, so you know, we, we, there's a couple of things that led to a new block set being added rather than just shuffling things around. One of them is we wanted uh, masonry as well as we wanted logging with its hewn logs and its mortared stone to actually be tied to those professions. We didn't want to have them. Um, you know, right now everyone can make uh, hewn logs and everyone can make mortared stone, but there wasn't kind of a clear this is this is where you kind of get pushed into. It's a bit of here, do a little bit of, of Frankenstein building, use a bit of resources that you have available to you. But the issue with that tended to be people one didn't really realize that. Instead of you know making hewn logs on a carpentry table as soon as you've had some sort of a structure which has allowed you to use the modules which reduces costs, 
Um, and it also had the issue of people didn't realize that they weren't getting proper skill benefits and, and experience from making hewn logs as a logger on a workbench rather than a carpentry table. So there was a lot of confusion for just in general getting into the game. Um, and it was something that we, we really wanted to kind of reduce. Um, and yeah, we could just dump the cost of that initial recipe, but then you kind of have that triple effect of that profession's main export material suddenly gets super cheap and you needed to sell a gazillion of it to make any kind of profit back on it versus um, the later tiers where, the, where you have hard limits on only you and this profession can make it rather than everyone can make it at leisure, just a bit more costly. And they are they are marauding now, so we'll see how much the cats are interceding in the background here. Um, but yeah, so let's just we can shuffle around. There we go. Let me just pull up the shots again. Uh, 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 yeah, so this new block, which is the adobe is intended to fill the role in that early game so all the tiers have been bumped up for the existing block sets so hewn logs and mortared stone is tier two lumber um, glass and bricks are pushed up to tier three and so on and so forth so you're looking at tier one to five now with the block sets um and i think we we'll just do that and we we'll just maximize it Uh, 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 uh. So this is where and and what we're looking at for the new block set. And we'll go over a few of the block forms and kind of build something uh, together here as well, kind of ro revolving over it. Um, so one of the one of the big uh, the big changes with this block set is that we're moving away. Uh, we're moving away from. A lot of automation in terms of the block builder um, so you have a lot more direct building control for the block pieces um, and hopefully it's not gonna cause too much of an inconvenience for people that you know may not be as super into the building part of the game but more of a general you know trading around socializing or, or doing whatnot and they just want a quick house um, but it is a bit of an experiment from the art team. They've really gone crazy in terms of where, how, and, and kind of how these be how these pieces are kind of attaching to each other. Um, there are a few things that are still, you know, this is work in progress. Uh, it's still being polished and, and kind of tweaked. Um, so there's a few things in here that is might look a little bit wonky in terms of their connectivity. So kind of transition over out to the wall pieces. Uh, but yeah, so this is how it's looking when it's being placed and just as a as an entity thing. Uh, we got windows which are embedded on the inside with some wood pieces. And we also have the interior roofing of it. Um, and we got some some new more crudely looking ladder if i can manage to climb up a ladder which is always a difficult thing and then we have some other new torches as well coming um did you make the stack and the torches bigger having them only one stack is is kind of no bueno um the general like the the stack sizes and limitations for a lot of the fuel types is being looked at um and it's a bit of a subject here as well because i want to i want to kind of shift over um housing balance in general <laughs> this preview is great but i think we need to discuss your start menu being on the top of your monitor uh, yeah, I've, I've I've heard some opinions on that. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so at the moment they're not set up as as general fuel sources. <laughs> I can't unsee that now. 
yeah, we'll... we'll... <laughs> oh. The uh, cats are, are causing havoc. Um, so will it burn a lot of dirt? Well, that's kind of a subject for debate. Um, because I haven't re entirely decided on the crafting material for it. Um, as one of the things is I kind of want to bake it into the uh, the initial starting like tool interaction repairs. Um, and the repairability and, and the rabbit is not making, the hare is not making a great display of our animal pathing at the moment. Um, but yeah, so there's there's a couple of kind of criterias I had for the recipe for it. And it's it's one, I kind of wanted to involve clay. Um, partially because it is a good way to kind of teach people about where materials can be found if we tie it into the tutorial. Um, so the, the four kind of sourced materials that I'm looking at is wood, like plain wood, um, clay or dirt, and plant fiber. It's like general like grass matter, basically. Um, and then we got some, some lighting adjustment as well. There we go. Um, but yeah, so, the, you know, there, there's a couple of things here in there that kind of makes it a bit complicated in terms of recipe wise um, because you are looking at like the desert for example where we don't have clay we only have dirt and it's also lacking severely in logs as well and from a general aerial zoning perspective I'm not completely hating the idea of and, and I also had an interesting map here um, I'm also not hating the idea of making people kind of not initially flock to the desert in the same way, but making it slightly more difficult to settle in areas that are not necessarily, uh, you know, really that habitable. Um, yeah, using using filler. Uh, plant like matter filler yeah that's probably what i was what, what i'll end up doing uh the dwarves can have the desert we civilized natives start in lush forested regions um yeah no so you know it's it's part of a since it's the the goal is to help out and, and make it easier to transition into the game and get going quicker the general notion is that you, i want to have resources related to um it needing uh, resources that are generally acquired early on very quickly based on just interacting with the world around you so dirt tends to be a big thing because you you usually poke it around a lot of dirt because you're terraforming you're making roads and you're kind of shuffling things around um and natural fibers as a tag is a great idea because then people can just as, as Roto points out people can just use pulp and fiber or, or whichever they're kind of collecting with it be it you know plant fiber or wood pulp and so on um but i also don't want the recipe to be too complex because um we don't want to have like a starter block that is more advanced in terms of ingredient types than some of the later tiers uh, which is also why human logs is getting another ingredient, uh, which I do not know if I added it to the recipe in here. Do, 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 do. No, did I add it on the carpentry bench? Might have. Do, 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 do. No, it's on it, it's on in my other tech tree. Um but yeah, so the hewn logs is gonna get dowel rods um as a new ingredient. So they'll you know they'll be self-produced. Um it's just kind of like a, a small step in um aiding a bit in the cost relation balance to it. Um and it's also gonna be a source of kind of wood scrap generation later for another update. Um, 
but yeah so with this initial block being changed out we can do a whole bunch of things one we can make it as cheap as we want irregardless of professions which means we can have you know you can build the general goal of it is to be able to kind of join a server uh, you place down your tent your, your campsite and whatnot and then you just collect a bit of material around you and you kind of have your house and your initial store within like the first hour and a half um, instead of having to uh, kind of trug along and just cut down half a forest to be able to build a little human house so you're more likely to get more materials out of it to kind of get get going quicker uh, I'd only ask you create more than just one block with a block of dirt and clay yeah you, you're, you're looking at like two or four blocks per Um, it, it's gonna be a fairly quick recipe. I'm trying to keep the block crafting times a bit uniform across it, but it's gonna be cheap enough, so it's gonna feel like it's really quick. Um, it's also your general kind of trend, like transportation into um, research and, and so on as well, because you're gonna be looking at this being like your initial research point. Um, it's required for to house a lot of the earlier tier machinery. Um, so the goal is generally just a smoother transition into the game um, and kind of get that feeling of, hey, I'm making progress, I'm getting stuff done. Um, and just, you know, um, just get people more engaged earlier on. Uh, so I'm hoping it'll, it'll make that happen. Um, it's been on the task to get this block set in for quite a while now, but we're really, really stoked to finally have it in. And I think I'm going to see if the Adobe door works. So I was having some... Uh... Ooh, look at that. It it actually it actually got placed on the right side, but the, uh... the interaction points of it is way up there, I think. So didn't really have time to, to tweak and make sure that that went in the way it's going in. Um, but you get the, um, the view on it. Um, how about faster construction, deconstruction animations and further reach when building with lower tier blocks? Um, different reach based on tool is probably not going to happen. Um, however, we are looking at if we wanted to have some more sophisticated slash end and the tier type hammer interaction um, that might be having longer reach or so on um, so that's not an impossibility um, but yes yeah, so here you got the adobe door with with a little nice wooden fitting on it um, ignore the no collision because it's you know, work in progress. Um, and then, as some of the people pointed out here, we've got a wall-mounted torch stand, uh, which works the same way as the painting. So if we do this, we can grab this, and as you see here, it is being placed mid-air, but it works the same way as the general painting frames is, so it'll snap to whatever is in the background. So it'll fit, you know, walls and, and pokes and so on and so forth. Uh, would love to be able to pick up more than one block at a time. Yeah, we're, there, there is some old stuff related to um, to the notion of being able to put just grab multiple things like a backpack replacement ish. That allow that gives you more carry slots rather than backpack slots. Um, so there's a few there's a few ideas that are rummaging around in terms of equipment that could um, change some of this out a little bit. Um, but that's still on the kind of planning board and, and seeing over what we want, how far we want to take it, and in, in, in what capacity we want it in. Um, 
so you know stay tuned for that it's a lot of fun things coming and it's a lot of crazy things we're working on um can we get that road slope shape block integrated into all of the building blocks uh, uh ADSI, could you elaborate on that a little bit because i'm not really sure what we're you're talking about when you place like a, a type a ramp and drag it along and then you get all the ramps up to and you kind of scale up or Would be neat to kind of start with no backpack or smaller rucks I can buy. I mean, just just like just longer sloped blocks. So you have like a, a four four line long thing. Uh, yeah, let's go through this ghost thing and take a look at just leveled area a bit uh, let's just do that so we can get some cheeky around here uh, time noon keep the daylight on uh, yeah so for block forms in this um, freaking climbing cats um, you got your basic cube, which is plain old cube, and then you have your floor type, which has that kind of walked in, nudged, um, worn out feel to it. And then we get to the crazy thing. So as I was saying, we are kind of moving away a little bit with this block set to be less automatic, which hopefully goes well with a lot of people. I think a lot of the, the creative builders really like to have more control over how their blocks are rotating back and forth and also rotating in maybe maybe a manner that we don't anticipate. Um, so you are having, all of these are manually rotatable things. So they're not auto snapping. They will kind of meld in with some things that are of the same type. So for example, uh, the, the wall piece, for example, has that bent end corner when it's standing alone, but you can stack it and it blends in and merges with uh, identical things stacked on top of it. But it does allow you to do this because it is completely ro manually rotated. Uh, so with that, you have... So this, this is kind of building more towards what you saw with the docks, uh, with the dock block forms being added to for the hewn log set. Uh, so you have some end pieces or some some solo pieces, I should say. Um, so these are kind of pillar-ish. Um, they're rounded in both sides, and then you have the actual end piece here that connects to the middle section that we had. Um, and as you can see here, you still have that sharp edge from that middle section, but it does merge in topwards uh, based on the type it is. So, you know, walls, walls kind of flipping around. And this is something that we are looking at kind of converting and redoing for some of the old block sets as well to give more direct control um, with it because the, the automatic kind of builder um, is really really complicated to set up and how it works with the block sets um, and it's kind of a lot of overhead as well so it, it is reducing significantly um, on the workload side of things uh, but on speaking of speaking of toggling option and uh, we do have a new a new little thing um, in the middle of this because I completely forgot that it's actually merged already uh, we have this thing so this allows you to disable enable 
building those diagonal pieces from what you're looking at. So when you're when you're just generally building, and this is what's going to be the default option, it's going to be disabled by default. You you have to enable it if you want it. Um, the reason for that is the general goal of being a bit more simpler to build and a little less skittish um, uh, floating point for how the block is detecting where you kind of want to place it. Uh, so by default that thing is disabled just to give you a little bit more control starting out kind of getting used to the system and then you can enable it if you want to go there because I know a lot of the a lot of the more quicker people on building likes that extra control to be able to place stuff diagonally straight away as well but it makes it makes this piece here being a little bit finicky on where you're mousing over and kind of where you want to place it um so instead we opted to make this into some more configs so um as you're getting to the side left and right it kind of it kind of shuffles into those sides as well in, instead so hopefully giving you a little bit more control while still keeping it um keeping those advanced controls available for people that do enjoy and um kind of use them um, I like them for, for like stair buildings and, and diagonal stuff, but um, it's a nice thing to have disabled unless you kind of opt to do that. So just generally nice with more options, um, I think. You got your, your general wall pieces and then you have the, uh, and then you got the T intersections, you've got uh, crossroads for them or X intersections as well as the corner pieces um, and they're you know they are working and looking pretty much what you expect out of them uh, which just open ended the corners to allow you to build walls in whichever direction you kind of want to do with them um, and then we have the windows as you saw they have a different outlook from the inside versus outside which is new as well so you have an external view and an internal view where uh, dump some of these um, where they're reinforced and having a different look completely from the inside versus out which is something that hasn't really been done on any of the other block sets because it doesn't really make sense for um, glass because glass panels are kind of same same um, so it's a it's a little bit of a new feel neat little look on it um, and then you have the fence blocks that you saw on the ground there as well as the top side and they follow the same kind of rules and restrictions as the other ones you've got the um, you got the plain one which is open-ended on both sides you have the end piece here that is a kind of nudged over into an adobe bigger kind of end section you also have a middle section block which adds these in the slab middle um, and then you also have the intersection for them um, and on the adobe set now or this is we just build a little house here and then change out the line If we do this just to kind of give us a little bit of a one um, yeah this will this is going to be your your tier one non-skilled starter block is this toby art um this is actually um rob's so it is one of the one of the other australians in our completely australian art team uh, but no, it, it's uh, it's Robert. He is mainly doing. Well, he, he does most of our two D assets. Um, he does a whole bunch of three uh, D stuff as well, and he's also the one doing the larger majority of all the concept art as well. Um, and he's usually the one that that gets assigned with crazy block set changes and and things and. 
absolutely phenomenal at it as well. Um, so the roofs is I don't know may maybe someone could you know chuck in what uh, opinions and thoughts here um, on general roofing. If you like being able to just have like a, a flat um, automatic roof builder as is on the other blocks. Um, you like just the kind of square stuff. So this is working similar to the ground things and, and the general walls. You have very, very, a lot more rigid control over it. Um, and you have same thing here. Like you have the intersections, which is the flat one. It's lighter on top. Um, you have the T intersection. So in this case, if we do we build a piece up here, let's actually let's use the point one. Uh, so we have that one, and then we'll use the sides. Not matter which way you have them rotated; they'll look the same externally and internally. And the middle section is kind of intended for you to be able to do things like uh, a more rigid beam over and crossover. And we can add that. So if we do that, we can just have that external thing out there. And then we can just have that corner piece there. So the corner piece is, as expected, that's doing the angle 90 degree turn versus that the end piece you have here, which is a tile that just is that rounded it doesn't have kind of a continuation so that's neat for things where you want to have like a balcony externally upwards or uh, like an external thing let me let me do one of those uh, so for the middle filler we have the roof fill block type and that thing is a floating beam thing, lack of a better word. So this, th this thing matches up and lines up with all of the different variations of roof types. And it's basically just a little kind of wood beam filled that connects up and is a little bit thinner. Um, and as I said, like this block set gives you a lot more creative control than previously. And I'm hoping that everyone is going to get a blast out of using these in completely, completely unrelated ways that we weren't anticipating initially. Like I've seen some, some I've seen some crazy use of the dock block sets. Um, so that's been, that's been a blast to see people using them in, in mines or as roofing or, or general flooring and, and different elevations and whatnot. Um, so I'm hoping people are going to have the same crazy, crazy creativity flow with these as well, um, especially for decorations and, and kind of external things. Um, yeah, there's the, the full stacked placeable one. Uh, these will be colorable too. Yeah, ev everything and everything, any anything and everything. Uh, Mike has gotten all the tools kind of rigged up and sorted. So now we're looking at interaction speeds and animation cycles. Um, so we might be able to do the painting stuff on the next stream. We'll see. Maybe if we're lucky. Uh, no, it, it's there's been a lot of improvements to that system, and it, it is getting fairly mature, so we might be able to show that off next time. Um, and the stairs is also getting the same kind of... Uh, You're just gonna be able. To, you're just gonna see them. Yeah. So the stairs is running into the same thing. You have full kind of autonomous control over direction, 
facing um, different angles of them and I said that we're hoping to kind of move into more direct control for uh, to some of these things uh, people will use that as cash decoration yeah I, I like them they're they're they are very nice so you got solo stairs and then you have middle block in between them so that the difference there is you don't have there's supposed to be a difference in them they one of them yeah one of them merges and the other one doesn't merge so that thing stays separate as an entity There we go. Um, so yeah, some interesting block forms. I'm hoping people are gonna have fun playing with. Um, it's gonna be really cool to finally get this over and kind of shuffle things around. Um, and are these configurations gonna be available with more than just Adobe? At the moment, they're just Adobe um, because we are kind of in transitional phase of looking over uh, there's been a lot of experimentations with the Adobe block set. There's been a lot of technical changes in how the block sets are being created, kind of like the production pipeline of from concept to techn technically being set up. Um, so it's definitely increasing the speed at which we can make them. Um, it's also streamlining the process to kind of looking over what shapes we want for them, what like what control capacity we want for them. Um, and it's definitely going to be something that we're taking with us into reviewing and, and redoing some of the old block sets uh, to be more streamlined in terms of quality, um, the forms in them and kind of make them feel kind of nice fit in and kind of be more of a uniform thing across the board with the other ones. He's very deterministic on doing things right now um, <laughs> um and, and for anyone wondering yes we have two very 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 vocal cats um but yeah it it's it's looking pretty nice um it's it's gonna be crazy um i foresee a lot of creative stuff going on with them um I can already envision players building huts just like in ancient Egypt. Uh, Egypt, what? Uh, what about chimney blocks? Chimney box is a bit of another can of worms. Um, it'll probably be looked into in regards to utility and pipes and all of that in a later update this year. Um, because we have some ideas on on we want to redo the general utilities a little bit. We want the the. the a big goal would be to get things being pipeable um, inside other block sets, um, but we'll see how how well that works technically, how well that works from a user experience side of things. Um, so you know, stay tuned on that. But it's probably going to be way later this year. Uh, we have a few things on the agenda prior to that. Um, a lot of content that's being um, built kind of in in an orderly fashion to fit in with each other and kind of build up towards release as well. Um, so yeah, this is our big kind of going out and, and seeing how well this works um, for block set style and functionality wise and get a bit of feedback on if this works better than the existing kind of auto build completion things and if we want to shift out all the block sets to be that um, and kind of where we want to land with them so do give a lot of feedback on discord and on the canny um, to you know give us that feedback that we we like to see to be able to work with and adjust to fit more into what players expect out of us. 
Um, but yeah, that, that, you know, probably what I had to say about the new block set. Um, I think I answered most of the questions related to it. Um, will we be able to recycle blocks at all into anything? Yeah, you'll on uh, you got some recipes for 10.3 with some of the maintenance stuff, so we might be able to sneak in some some crushing recipes or, or sh shuffling around there. But we do have an update dedicatedly planned for things like uh, pollution improvements, recycling, uh, garbage, and, and that kind of spectrum of the game. Um, so that'll be more in towards, more in towards updates rega regarding that update when, uh, once we're passed and through with 10.3. Um, so, so far for anyone that is, uh, not super on to what's w what we've been doing for the next update. Uh, just like a general summary being uh, the Adobe block sets that is coming out with it. We've got uh, painting, like actual block paintings. Um, so you'll have a tool that you can interact with and you can paint blocks in different colors. Um, it's working on, on, a, on a wholesome RGB scale. So you're not limited to certain quantity of colors. It's going to be the whole spectrum. Um, that'll be in its own stream. Hopefully the next one, we'll see. Um, I'll throw out some news about that and make a post about it um, on a more definitive note um, closer. Um, maintenance, last stream, take a look at it if you haven't. Um, dynamite when who knows maybe maybe we can have some explosives eventually um we'll have a stream about that um uh, later on as well um i kind of hope i was kind of hoping to have it in 10.3 but it might not fit in with the timetable we got a lot of things that we need to shuffle around we're also making a big unity upgrade in it which is causing some mayhem um there's a lot of a lot of changes in the unity's apis that we need to kind of reconfigure things to work nicely with um the new unity 2023 um it's a big leap because it's a double major unity version upgrade um, it gives us a little bit more technical leeway in optimizations and new packages and a lot of cool gadgets that we can help make things look nicer while still performing better than they used to be um but yeah, I, I think that's majorly around kind of like block sets and, and, and that. So um, as an after effect of this, things are going to get crazy. Um, hasn't been mentioned yet, but because we are... Uh, so player experience is based on uh, food, balance, food balance values, food values in general. But you also have the housing value part of it, where you build rooms, you build houses, um, you stack them with furniture. Furniture gives you points. Um, just as a quick Angel Lord, uh, patterns no at the moment. It's going to be just plain, plain flat colors. Um, we'll see if, if we can do some texturing and things like that uh, later on, but it's not going to be directly related to the painting itself. Um, but more on that subject on, on an actual painting stream. Um, so with the tier change, since everything's going to bump a tier and, um, housing in general is hard capped, soft capped to the tier itself. So you would have tier one to four, which would at maximum value, soft cap, you have 20 and then hard cap you at, um, 40 because tier 4 equaled to 40 uh, it's gonna be shifted up so you have the maximum tier is gonna be tier 5 which means the soft cap is gonna be 25 the hard cap is gonna be 50 and this is gonna shift over and result in some significant housing object value changes 
Um, so one of the things that I'm looking at for this is I want to make sure that uh, when you're building a house and to avoid the whole issue of like skill pedogas for one as, as a, a favorite term for it um, is we have situations where you just cram in as much stuff as possible to kind of squeeze out the experience in that um, and that's definitely something that we want to move away from we want to make sure that the rooms kind of have enough things to put into them in in kind of like what you would expect out of the room um, and the supporting furniture to kind of give you that boost so I want to me I want to be able to make sure that uh, the general rooms reaches a set like you kind of hit this that soft cap with just the room furniture that goes into it like a living room has a fireplace uh, uh, let's do that so for example a hewn hewn shack in this case um, you turn it into I need to claim it and I'd cause explosions if I claimed it let's just rip up rip up this thing Uh, let's claim tool. And we have we have that one in there. There we go. So we claim this and we have our residence set on it, I believe. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. So here, uh, mortar fireplace. Mortared, mortared a specific stone. So if we grab a mortared fireplace, for example, and then we just throw some fuel in it, um, it gives us that living room, and it gives us that. Uh, yeah, there's some there's some wonky thing going on here. Uh, still shifting around objects and and values in the tech tree, so ignore some random inconsistencies like yeah it's adding a lumber door that's why that tier 3 is coming in uh, so basically that that fireplace is just giving me 1.5 value and if we're looking at ecopedia uh, and we go housing objects and we're gonna go into the living room you have kind of everything that goes into a living room here and I want to change out so you get a lot more points and bonuses for the different things and they scale up better with the tiers. So you don't have, um, you know, the nylon, the nylon couch coming in later in versus the, the, the comfy couch coming in mid tier and so on. But you need six of them in a room to be able to max out the points from seating bonuses. Um, and so on and so forth and um, I they kind of want to shuffle around the points so you're gonna it's gonna be easier to build fully kind of fully stuffed point wise rooms um, but it's gonna be more distinctively upgradable with each tier so it's not gonna be very sm like small bonuses in terms of how much more the furniture is gonna give you it's gonna be a noticeable difference um, and you're gonna mainly be able to reach that soft cap with general room furniture associated with it and then the support furniture and the support objects is just gonna bump that up way higher and with one of the criteria for it is lighting is gonna be a lot more impactful you're gonna get a lot more value out of lighting sources because they are um, fuel consuming in one way or another so I want to reshuffle them and be, uh, they'll give you a bit higher um, benefit. Right now they're capped at 30% of the room value. I'm probably going to bump them up to like 60%. And then it's going to be a lot more point wise. Um, I'll probably drop out a few comparison notes in Dev Hangout. Um, during next week to give a more kind of appropriation for it. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to place things like vases on top of things like table and so on. Um, we, we are looking into 
how we want to do that. We have kind of a hacky way to do it. Um, to kind of get things to count as hard solid surfaces. But it's not the most performant way of doing it. Um, so we want to take a bit of time to kind of look over um, how we want to more streamlined to do it. Um, because there's a few objects that we kind of don't want to be placeable on top of versus like, you know, a share would be looking very, really odd. Um, so if we grab like, give a hewn chair, uh, hewn dresser. That's gonna be a little bit bulky to get into this room. Um, but stuff like a hewn dresser would make sense and look nice with a board, you know, table lamp or so on. But it's gonna look really oddly if you place a lamp and it's gonna sit on top of the chair uh, or clip in through the chair and so on. So we're probably gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like top surface stuff. Um, any new way on area house destruction instead of one by one block pickup? Uh, not at the moment, but we, uh, on, on that subject of dynamite, uh, lamps need seating too, feels bad. Um, we were playing with the idea of, of, you know, having some sort of bigger force applied destructible. So, you know, you're done with your house. You don't care about the recycling. You just want to demolish it. Um, and then, you know, allow you to demolish stuff on your property in a more efficient manner. Um, so, yeah. Uh, food for thought. Um, if you have any input or you know ideas surrounding that you want that uh you want us to look over uh, don't hesitate to do so um i think dynamite would be a nice would be nice for vertical shafts yeah we're, we're um it'll the whole explosive things is going to be its own stream um but it might not make it for 10.3 where it it's depends a little bit on how well time-wise it goes. Um, seeing if I can find an image. Maybe, maybe, maybe some sneak peek. Do we have a sneak peek? Do, 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 do. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, I have, but but I also have some other stuff that in there that I don't want to show just yet. Um, we can do another another thing. So we one it's either going to be so next stream is either going to be the outdoors room, which is going to be a completely new room type. Um, and the um, it's going to add a whole bunch of new outdoor furniture. Um, and with it, one of them was the Tiki Torch that you saw there on top of the balcony on the house. Um, which is one of the new things. And we've got a slew of other objects and decorative things. But we can do slash give granite terrace. Let's do this one. Just, you know. Um, so we have another fountain for you. Uh, and it's a bunch of these things that are coming. Um, so that's just a little, a little treat in preparation for the next. No. Freaking hell! He, he's mischievous cat. Um, but yeah, so either either it's gonna be painting the next stream, or it's gonna be the outdoor room and a more fledged out um, housing balance kind of statistics. I'll show you what what actual changes are happening in terms of point wise, if people are interested in that. Um, but yeah, a lot of cool new decorative things um, that are going into that new outdoor style room, um, which is going to be pretty big in terms of how much it's going to impact the surrounding systems. And it's going to give you another another source for value of the properties um, and just add more decorative things to give more life to the general environment around you. Um, and it also gives you for the first time an actual reason 
to have stuff built outside your house which was really important for us to really give players that incentive to build things outside so you know more on that on that stream um and coming up on an hour i think i'm i'm pretty happy um i'm hoping everyone else is uh, it's been great to have everyone here and really stoked about keep doing keep rolling these out and keep discussing the changes um and yeah you know have a great weekend and i will see you on next stream and keep in touch on discord and get news in the meantime through there uh and uh, yeah so take care everyone and see you next time